Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. So we have this double integration and we have to find its value by reversing the order of integration. That means if the given strip is parallel to y axis, we should consider parallel to x axis and we have to solve problem. And if the strip is parallel to x axis, we should consider parallel to y axis and we have to find the value of the integration. So let us start to discuss this example. So this is the double integration we have the inner integration with respect to x. So that's why these are limits of x outer integration with respect to y. So these are limits of y. OK, so let us find a region now. So let me mention. So therefore. Region. Is bounded by let us write what we have y is equal to zero next y is equal to 3, x is equal to 1 and x is equal to root 4 minus y. So y is equal to 0. This is equation of x axis. Let me show here y is equal to 0 x axis. OK, so this is y is equal to 0. So this is x axis. Next y is equal to 3. It's a line parallel to x axis. It's a line parallel to x axis which passes through y is equal to 3. So the line will be here. OK, so this will be a line. Which is parallel to x axis and passes through y is equal to 3. OK, so let me extend. Let me extend like this. OK, so this is y is equal to 3. Let me show. So let me write here y is equal to 3. OK. See here we have a square root. So to remove square root, I will take square of both sides. So we will have if I take square of both sides, x square is equal to 4 minus y. Power of x is 2, power of y is 1. That means it represents a parabola. If power of one variable is 2 and power of second variable is 1, it means it is a parabola. So this is a parabola. What is power of y? 1. So that means the parabola is symmetric about y axis. So parabola is symmetric about this y axis, but see that y has a minus sign. That's why we can say the parabola is symmetric about negative y axis, negative y axis. Or in another way, we can say the parabola opens in downward direction. So let me clearly mention a parabola opens in downward direction okay so it's open in downward direction so let me draw a parabola here so but see i'm confused how to draw that parabola what will i do i'm going to put x is equal to zero let us see what will happen if i put x is equal to zero so zero is equal to four minus y so that means y is equal to four so the point is zero comma four okay zero x is zero and y is four so the parabola is passes through this point 0 comma 4. Let me show here 0 comma 4. The parabola passes through this point and opens in downward direction. So it will be like this. OK, but see, still I am confused how to draw. So now what will I do? I am going to put y is equal to 0. Let us see what will happen if I put y is equal to 0. This is my rough work huh, I am doing here. If I put y is equal to 0, we will have x square is equal to 4. So x will be by taking square root plus minus 2 x takes two values plus 2 and minus 2 so we will have two points x2 y0 and the second point is x minus 2 y0 so yes 2 comma 0 is here minus 2 comma 0 is here so parabola opens in downward direction it passes through these three points so now the picture is clear to us and we can easily draw the parabola so the parabola will be like this. OK, so we have a parabola like this. OK, so this is a parabola we have. See, one curve is remaining. That is x is equal to 1. Uh, before that, what will I do? I'm interested to find the points of intersection. You can see here we have a parabola and that line y is equal to 3 cuts that parabola in two distinct points. So now I'm interested to find the these two points. OK, so let us see how to find. Let me remove this one. There is a very simple technique to find a point of intersection. The technique is we put the value of one equation in second equation. So value of this equation y is equal to 3. I am going to put in the equation of parabola 
which is x square is equal to 4 minus y. So I'm going to put the value of 3 here. So x square is equal to 4 minus 3. So x is equal to 1. Sorry, x square is equal to 1. So x is equal to plus minus 1. Getting? So the value of y is 3, obviously, and x takes two values, plus 1 and minus 1. So obviously, this point will be 1 comma 3 and this point will be minus 1 comma 3. In this way, we got these two points also. So still one curve is remaining, which is x is equal to 1. So you know x is equal to 1. It's a line parallel to y-axis. So x is equal to 1 is a line which is parallel to y-axis and passes through x is equal to 1, passes through x is equal to As you can see here, here also x is 1. So we have to draw a line which is parallel to y-axis and passes through these two points. So it's a rough sketch. So that's why it is looking a little bit bent, but I got this line whose equation is x is equal to 1. Okay. So in this way, I have drawn all curves. So now we have to find the exact region. So region is bounded by y is equal to 0, y is equal to 3, bounded by these two lines. So region lies between these two lines. Region is bounded by this parabola. Okay, and region is bounded by this line also. So maybe you will get confused that region is this one or this one or this one. Okay, see bounded by these two lines, bounded by this vertical line and bounded by parabola, most probably it will be this one. But see, we have to find exact region. So what will I do? I'm going to focus on this integration again. So the inner integration with respect to x, that means the original strip given strip is parallel to x axis it will be like this the strip is bounded below you know our funda bounded below bounded above and bottom to top so the strip is bounded below by x is equal to 1 and bounded above by the parabola so if our strip lies between these two curves that means if the strip is here then it satisfies this condition the strip is bounded below by x is equal to 1 and strip is bounded above by this parabola. So that means obviously this is a region. So this is a region of integration. Okay. Okay. But now we have to change the order of integration. They have clearly mentioned reversing the order of integration. That means we have to, uh, we have a horizontal strip. We have to consider a strip parallel to y axis. I have to consider a vertical strip. So let me clearly mention to change the order of integration order of integration we consider we consider a strip parallel to y axis okay so let me draw one same region here but now i will consider a strip parallel to y axis just make a screenshot of it, then we will go further. So I have drawn a region here, same region, getting? But now I have considered a strip parallel to y-axis. So now we have a strip parallel to y-axis. So I should write y varies from y is equal to to y is equal to and then x varies from x is equal to to x is equal to okay so we have very simple funda that is strip is bounded below bounded above and left to right getting strip is bounded below sorry bounded below bounded above and left to right so strip is bounded below by y is equal to zero strip is bounded above by a part of parabola whose equation is x square is equal to 4 minus y getting x square is equal to 4 minus y but i have written y is equal to so that's why i'm shifting y on this side x square on that side and we will have y is equal to 4 minus x square so let us talk about the limits of x now we are moving strip from left to right at left it will start at x is equal to 1 it will move like this and it will go up to this point where the value of x is 2 so we got the limits of x 1 to 2 so therefore, i is equal to, I'm writing the same integration, see x plus y. So now our strip is parallel to y axis, I should write dy first, dx later. What are the limits of y? 0 to 4 minus x square. 
So now the strip is parallel to y axis. So that's why inner integration with respect to y, outer integration with respect to x. Limits of x, 1 to 2. So let us start to integrate it. Let us find its value. So 1 to 2. I'm going to find its integration with respect to y. Addition is there, separate, separate integration. Integration of x. x is constant, so it will be as it is. Integration of dy is y plus integration of y is y square by 2. I am using this simple formula. Integration of x raised to n is x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1. Using this formula, I got the integration of y is y square by 2. Put the limits. Let us put 0 to 4 minus x square dx. So integration 1 to 2. I am putting the upper limit at a place of y. 4 minus x square plus 4 minus x square, see again there is a square divided by 2. If I put lower limit 0, we will obviously get 0, so I will not write anything dx. So let us simplify it, okay. Let us do it here. So this is equal to integration 1 to 2. I am multiplying 4x minus x cube. By solving this one, I got here 4 minus x square bracket square. So I'm going to use this formula a minus b bracket square formula a square minus 2ab plus b square. Let us uh, what is our a for b x square. Let us use this formula and expand it 4 square 16 minus 4 into 2 8 into this x square plus b square. That means x square square. It will be x raised to 4 dx okay but i forgot to divide it by 2 so let us do divide by 2 getting uh yes let us simplify now so this is equal to integration 1 to 2 4x minus x cube see what will i do i will divide separately 16 by 2 8 8 8 by 2 4 x square plus x raised to 4 by 2 dx okay so can we cancel anything here? Nothing. So let us integrate. Addition subtraction is there. We can take separate separate integration. 4 is constant. Integration of x is x square by 2. I am simply using this formula. Let me write here. Integration of x raised to n is x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1. I am going to use the same formula for each and every term. Minus integration of x cube is x raised to 4 by 4. 8 is a constant, so will be as it is integration of dx is x, 4 constant integration of x square is x cube by 3, integration of x raised to 4 is x raised to 5 by 5 into 2 10, so 1 to 2, these are limits, okay. So uh, yeah, I am going to put the upper and lower limit, just make a screenshot of it, then I will go further. So let us simplify it here. See, I'm going to put 2 first, okay, 2 everywhere, 2 square, 2 square is 4 into 4, 16 by 2, 8 minus, here I'm going to put 2, 2 raised to 4 is 16 by 4, 4 plus, here I'm going to put 2, 2 into 8, 16 minus, I'm going to put 2 here, 2 cube is 8 into 4, 32 by 3 plus 2 raised to 5 is 32 by 10 minus. Now I am going to put 1. If I put 1 here, 4 by 2 is 2. If I put 1 here, minus 1 by 4, put 1, 8 minus 4 by 3. If I put 1, 1 by 10. You can use calcium so directly you will get the answer. Let us simplify. So it is uh, 4 plus 16, 20 minus 32 by 3 plus 32. We can divide both uh, numerator and denominator by 2. So it will be uh, 16 by 5. Okay. Let us solve the bracket. Minus. So 8 into 2, 10 minus minus plus 1 by 4 minus minus plus 4 by 3 minus 1 by 10 okay 
so this is equal to 20 minus 10 we will have 10 this minus 32 by 3 plus 4 that means minus 28 by 3 getting this is 16 plus uh, 16 by 5 plus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 10 okay so this thing we have got so next part is obvious calculation so i will simply solve and directly i will write the answer here so i have solved here completely and i finally we got 241 by 60 is the final answer so make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you